go live for our um, workout today. Just making sure that we're connected on our Lady Super Fitness Stowe and North Canton pages. I hope you guys are having a good morning so far. I hope you can join us. It's going to be an awesome workout today. We're focusing on our legs. So um, we're going to use some weight if you have it. You can use some dumbbells. Um, you can use your large detergent bottle. You can use that gallon of milk. Totally up to you, okay? So as I'm talking, go ahead and grab some of those supplies. Um, we're going to also have a chair. So I have a chair here. Preferably get one that does not have wheels or you can use your sofa. We're going to be using that in the next couple of exercises. Um, so again, we're just going to be using primarily your body. If you don't have weights, that is totally fine. If you want to just grab a couple of water bottles, that would be great as well. So I'm going to be doing this with you so we can go over some modifications, some tips, some suggestions. Um, so if you have any questions right now, now is the time to ask because once we get started, I won't be able to see your comments until the very, very end, okay? So again, Vanessa Carlson here. I'm at Lady Super Fitness, and today is day one for this week of our awesome workouts. We're going to focus on our legs. So I would grab, if you do have weights or if you, do, if you are using some of your canned goods, grab three different size weights, a light, a medium, maybe something a little bit heavier. And if you don't have weights, you're still gonna get a really, really great workout using your own body. So remember, we wanna stay safe, stay motivated and encouraged. So I'm gonna to demonstrate to you some of the exercises that we're gonna to do today with some modifications. And I do have my scarf, it's a little drafty in here, but that will be coming off shortly. So the first one that we're gonna do is a front lunge into a reverse lunge, okay? So I am gonna step forward into a front lunge, come back, now I can tap or I can get my knee up to make it more challenging, and I'm gonna go right back into a reverse lunge. I'm gonna tilt my uh, handy dandy. Hey, Regina. All right, hopefully you can see me better here. So again, front lunge into a back lunge, okay? Front lunge, or if I want to step, back lunge. Or maybe lunges are not something you do all the time. You can grab your hair for balance, get in that slip stand, and you can just lunge down and up. So you can use the chair for what you need. Remember, when I'm lunging, I'm coming straight down. I'm not coming forward. You don't want that knee over your toe, right? So straight down and up. And then on my cue, We'll switch legs. But again, the first one that we're doing, if you can do it, I'm stepping forward, so I'm controlling my momentum into that front lunge, pushing off as you can, get that knee up, and then back into a reverse lunge. That's one. We're gonna do a set on one leg, and then on a set on the other leg. Each set, if you have some weight, or some, whether it's a canned good, or a detergent, whatever, each step, we're going to go up in weight, but we'll go less in reps, okay? So don't worry about that now. Okay, so again, we have the front lunge and two of reverse lunge. The next exercise we're going to do, if you can see my feet, I'm not here, I'm not parallel, I'm taking a wider stance, turning my toes out, and we're going to do a sumo squat, okay? Nice to control. So I'm pushing my knees out, I'm going to turn so you can see me. So if you're watching, please try it with me, okay? See my nice little baby girl in here? I'm going straight down and up, squeezing my glutes, gently tightening my abs, okay? The next one we're going to do, we're going to have the chair. It's a single leg. So using the chair, I'm shifting my weight. Most of my weight's on my right foot. I'm going to sit, but the minute I sit, I'm going to come up. So the hop is optional. So I'm, it's on, on one leg, I'm coming down. You can hover and come up, okay? Or if, I, if you need to toe tap and come down and touch all the way, that's fine. So again, I'm going to turn this so you can see the different ways I can do it. And again, pick the way that works for you in your body. So my weight is mostly on my right leg. I'm coming up and down, up and down. Or I can challenge myself, get my left foot off, come down and up, come down 
and up. Or you can hover and come up. And we'll do that and then switch. And then, so those are the basic, basic exercises. So again, I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds. Grab some water, grab a chair, grab some weight. Hey Beverly, hey Deanne, hey Donna. You can't hear it, let's see. Let me see. I have a tech guy. Can anyone else not hear it? Raider, can you help me with the sound? Let's see here. They can't hear it. Is it because this isn't there? Can anyone else not hear me before we get started? Donna, are you the only one that can't hear it? Beverly, I can hear. Great, 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 great. All right, so grab your weights, grab a chair. Give me one second, I'm gonna grab my water. All right, guys, let's rock and roll. So we're gonna start with our very first. Um, we're gonna warm up and we're gonna start with the forward lunge into reverse lunge. You get a nice wide stance. Side bend your head to the right. Get a good stretch in that upper trap. Keep those shoulders down to back. Take a few deep breaths. Exhale. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. So if you're just hopping on, we're going to switch sides. We are live on Lady Super Fitness Stowe, North Canton, and also on my personal page. And we're getting started with our leg workout. Again, we're going to go to the opposite side. Just let your head fall gently. Open up that trap, take a few deep breaths, let all that stress out. Again, shoulders are down and back. We're going to switch sides. We're going to open up your side of your torso in just a minute. Thank you guys for hopping on. We're going to bring that right arm up, gently reach over, open up the intercostals, a little lat there. Open up that armpit, don't come down, keep that chest open, right? Deep breath. Exhale, come over. I hope you guys had a good weekend, got some rest, maybe some cleaning done. Stretch it out. We're gonna go the opposite way. Deep breath, exhale over, take your time. Nice and smooth, we're just work, well, I can't talk, waking up the tissues here. Now remember, when you share our videos forward, we enter you into our giveaway for that treadmill, also by subscribing on our YouTube. So after we go live today, we are gonna upload this video onto our YouTube channel as we make more videos today. Deep breath, bring it down. Keeping my back flat, my knees soft, I'm gonna come forward. I'm gonna turn, but you can stay where you are. My back is flat, just getting a gentle stretch behind the hamstrings here. Slowly come up, bring it down. Again, hinge forward. And you may be going further than me, that's okay. I got my little belly here. Get a good stretch behind that hamstring. Come up. This time we're gonna hinge forward. The back is flat. Again, a good stretch behind the thighs. Allow the arms to hang, the head to hang. And roll it up one vertebrae at a time. So just a little spine articulation. Let's do that two more times. So flat back, round the back, relax the head, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. We'll do one more. Take your time. Relax the head, relax the shoulders, and just imagine your vertebrae stacking on top of each other. From here, I'm just going to take a wide stand. I'm going to shift my right back, leaning to my left, inner thigh stretch on the right, and I'm just going side to side. I'm going to turn so you can just get the different angles going side to side. Thank you all for hopping on. I'm just going to turn here, a couple more. Just gently opening up the inner thigh. Good, now what we're gonna do is kick your butt, just to wake up the hamstrings a little bit more. Get that heart rate up. If you wanna pick up the tempo, you definitely can. I'm just gonna come right here, because if I keep hopping, I'm gonna have to use the bathroom, which you don't wanna have to pause and wait for me. Okay, all right, ladies and gents, so our first set, we're gonna do 12 reps. So either no weight or very, Lightweight. Okay, so each set we're gonna go up in weight, but our reps are gonna decrease. Okay, so we're gonna start with the lunge. So 
we have our forward lunge into a reverse lunge. That's one. So forward into reverse. Nice and controlled. I hope you guys are counting. This is three. We're doing 12. 12. Nice job, guys. Now I am talking and breathing. I think this is five. Keep count with me. Help me out here. Nice job, guys. Seven. Eight. Again, if you need a tap, try to get that high knee if you can. Nine. Good job. Two more. Woo One more. And relax. Shake it out, guys. Shake it out. So what we do on one side, we're going to do on the opposite side. So again, if you need to modify, go ahead and modify. We're going to switch legs. We're doing 12 again. It's just on the opposite leg. So you're going to step up, forward, step up, and back. I'm going to move a little bit. And again, we're doing 12. Nice and controlled. Keep count. You guys are doing awesome. You want a nice, wide step. Good job. This is six. Seven. Keep going. We're almost done. I promise. You feel your legs talking to you a little bit. A few more. Please count. One more, one more. And relax. Catch your breath, shake it out. We're gonna take a quick little break. Then we're gonna do another set, switching legs. So I started with my right, going forward and back. So we're gonna revisit that leg. This is where you're gonna grab some weight if you want. You don't have to. Let's see how we're doing. All right, so you guys can hear you. I miss you too. Thanks for hopping on. Yay, Jill. Yay, Tabitha. All right, guys. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. So again, you can grab your weight if you want. Just going to keep it simple today. Right leg. You're going to forward lunge. Forward and back. That's one. We got ten. And back. Keeping your chest up, not tilting, right? Going straight down. Boom. Nice and controlled. High knee if you can. Or if you need a tap, that's fine. Never compromising your form. Five more. Nice job, guys. Keep going. Working at your own speed. Way to go. Last few. Remember, take a nice big step. You want your muscles absorbing the force, not your joints. I lost count, not gonna lie. And that should be 10. Shake it out. Catch your breath. You guys doing okay? We're gonna lead now with the opposite leg, okay? Still grabbing that weight, and we got 10. A few more seconds. How's everyone doing over here? Hey guys, I hope you're watching, I hope you're joining us. Now remember, these will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. All right, here we go. So switching legs, step forward and back. That's one. Forward and back, keeping your chest up. And the beauty of our YouTube channel is that you can pause, stop, rewind, fast forward. The line is cool too, right? Gives you another challenge. This is five. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Push off. 
Way to go. Almost done, almost done. Remember, working your channel with me. Ooh, that's an ounce. If you're going faster than me, that's okay. Couple more. Dang it, I lost count again. Hope you guys are doing okay. One more, one more. Shoot for 10. And relax. Great job, guys. We got one more set. One more set. So you can either add some more weight or you can take away weight. This time, we're going to do eight reps each leg, okay? Where we go, Tabitha? Who else is on? How are you guys doing over here, okay? The YouTube is under Ladies Super Fitness. Hey, Terry. All right, guys, we got one more step. So again, you can go a little bit heavier, grab that detergent, the heavy one, <laughs> or that milk, gallon of milk, totally up to you. Or maybe you have a bag of assorted things, right? All right, so now we're gonna have eight reps. I'm starting with my right, that's the leg I started with. We're gonna step forward, push off, and back. That's one. Keep count. For eight, keeping good form, chest up. Remember, as you learn, slowly going down. Don't rush it. Your knee should not whew, slam. And if you need to reset and get your balance, like me, totally fine. A couple more. And after eight, I'm not gonna lie, I lose count sometimes. Shake it out. And if you're unsure, just do one more. No harm in that. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna take a quick break. Hey, hey. All right, guys, last set, last leg for our set of eight. So forward lunge, in and reverse lunge. Here we go. Forward, reverse. Good job, forward, boom. Nothing like a leg day on a Monday, right? Keeping good form. Ah, oh, that's another one. Four more, guys, four more. Halfway done. Two more, two more. Control. Last one. And relax. Count your breath. Get some water. We have a little bit of break. And then we're going to get started with our next exercise here. Everyone doing okay? Let's see who else is on. I'm going to scroll down. Woo! Oh, I'm so glad. Modifying is great. Ben says she's doing five of each. That is perfectly fine. Shake out the legs, get some water. I'm gonna get some water too. All right. So the next one we have is called the progressive step. So we're gonna do 15 reps, 12 reps, eight. Take a break. Eight, 12, 15. Now, it's a guide. So like Bev mentioned, she's modifying it. That's fine. So if you want to do 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 5, 5, 5, it, it, it's totally up to you. Just listen to your body, right? So we're going to grab the first set. It's 15 reps. So really lightweight or no weight. Totally up to you. So we're going to get into that sumo squat position. So my legs are wider than my shoulders. My toes are turned out. Hopefully, you guys can see me here. Shoulders down and back. I'm going to come down and up. Squeezing the glutes. Tightening the thighs as you stand. Keeping my chest up. Keeping that airway open. And smiling because you're taking care of yourself, right? Nice and controlled. Nice job. Way to go. Push those knees out. Find that range that works for you. Five more. Nice job. Slow on the way down and then up nice and quick. 
Slow on the way now. Up nice and quick. Two more, two more. One more. And shake it up. We're going to go on the other right? If you want, you don't have to. But any knee. Catch your breath. If you need to sit down and take a break, that's totally fine. Now you're going to do 12. So you're going to grab your weight here. Same position, sumo squat, toes out, chest up. I'm going to turn so you can see. Coming down and up. Down and up. Nice and controlled. You find the range. Some of you may be going deeper than others. That's totally fine. Find the range that works for you. You should not have any pain or discomfort. If you are, please stop. Reposition, try again. And you're more than fine to skip this one and hop on in because we'll do a different exercise in just a few moments. So we're stopping at 12. I lost count, hope you're keeping count. I'm gonna do three more, two more, and relax. Woo Good job, guys. All right, our last set. If you have something heavier, go ahead and grab it. If you want to, right? You don't have to. Catch your breath. We got a set of eight reps. All right, guys, here we go. Toes turned out, feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Last set, we have eight. Catch your breath, and then when you're ready, hop right into it. Your pace, your workout, in your own space, right? We do miss seeing everyone at the gym. We know this is temporary. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for staying motivated, sharing us forward. Just a few more. Once you're at eight, go ahead and stop. I have a hard time counting sometimes. That's okay. And relax. You got a nice little break here, guys. And then we're going to start from eight and work our way back up. How's everyone doing? Let's see here. I'm modifying. Good. Who else? Way to go, guys. We have a quick little break. Grab those weights. How's everyone doing? Hey, Terry. Hey, Stephanie. Okay, we're going to start with that set of eight. So you have that heavy or heavier object. If you want to use it, go ahead and use it. Slowly come down into that sumo squat and up. Nice and controlled. Because you're adding weight, you want to make sure that you have good movement, good controlled movement. And not fly, you know, losing your balance, tipping forward. If it's too much, just back it off. Still gonna get a great workout with just your body. And then after eight, go ahead and stop and relax. Come on, I'm gonna start. Woo! I think my hair is gonna go up in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're gonna go a little bit lighter. Let's start. We got to all the rest. Go ahead and grab your weight, nice and controlled. Toes out, shoulders down the back, nice and smooth, down and up. Keep count. Now remember, as you're standing up into that sumo squat, you should be envisioning your thighs tightening, squeezing your glutes, the upper inner thigh, keeping your chest up, shoulders down and back. And we're stopping at 12. Nice job. I wish I could hear you because I lost count. I'm going to do four more just to play it safe. Three more, two more, and relax. Great, great job, guys. Catch your breath. Either no weight or light weight, totally up to you. We have 15 reps right now with the sumo squat. Again, thanks for hanging with me. If you're just hopping on, we're getting our live workout, legs focused. We're live on Lady Super Fitness Stowe and North Canton, as well as my personal page. And if you like, darn, I missed some of the workout, no worries, we're gonna upload it to our YouTube channel on Ladies Super Fitness. And so make sure you subscribe so that you can get these workouts. Okay, last step, here we go. We got 15 sumo squats, toes out, take your time, down and up, okay, nice and smooth. I hope you're thinking positive thoughts, 
congratulating yourself and taking the time to move your body, increase in circulation, get oxygen to the lungs, to the muscles, opens up, allows your brain to think clearer, stay more focused, less stress. Whew, what number are we on? I lost count again. Dang it. <laughs> That's okay, I'm doing this workout by myself. There's no one here with me. I'm gonna do five more. Why not? Five, four, countdown, baby. Three, nice job, guys. One more for good luck. Why not? Catch your breath. So the next one, grab a drink of water, and also grab your chair. We're gonna use the chair for this next one. I'm gonna turn it so you guys can see me a little bit better. You don't have to turn. I'll be right back. All right. So this next one, we have our five reps, five sets, and I call it a force round, right? Five, five, force. So single leg, I start with my right. If you want to start with the opposite leg, that's totally fine. But if you want to all do it together, right leg, move it back. So most of my weight is on my right. I'm going to come down and up. Squeeze and tighten. So again, controlled and up. After we do five sets of five reps on the right, we're going to rest and then repeat on the left. We're almost done, guys. We're more than halfway done with the workout. Grab that chair. Again, the other way you can do it is just gently hover and come up. So now I'm resisting gravity making it a little bit more challenging for myself. All right, let's rock and roll. Right leg, single leg squat, coming down and up. Control and up. Nice job, guys. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Driving up through your heel. Let's do one more so that you're getting the force coming behind the leg. Shake that foot out. That's one set. We got four more. Here we go. Down. Squeeze and tighten. Down and control. You guys are doing great. Three, two more. Now again, if you need to sit and come up, that's totally fine. And relax. Shake out that leg. We got three more sets. Woo -wee! Three more sets. If you're doing this workout with us, I'd love to hear how you thought it was. What was your favorite exercise? Here we go. Down and up. Let that glute, the glute load. Come right back up. Nice. Two more. One more. Hang in there, guys. Shake it out. Shake it out. We got two more sets. Anybody else feeling it? Great job, guys. Two more sets. Again, let me show you the other way. You can sit and stand. But make sure most of your weight right now is on that right leg. Ready? And down and up. Control and up. Challenge yourself. But stay stiff, right? A couple more. Woo! One more. And relax. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. We got one more set. One more set. Challenging our balance, our core stability, as well as our strength. All right. Here we go. Last set. Again, I'm going to come all the way down and pop up. Slow, up quick. Slow, nice. Really make those muscles work. When you're coming down, they're elongating eccentrically, so you want it nice and slow, and then up quick. All right, catch your breath, get a sip of water. If you need to, we're gonna repeat that, five, 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 on the opposite leg. Who else just hopped on? Let's see. Great job modifying. We're almost done, guys. All right, here we go. Next leg, single leg. Move this chair back. So now most of my weight is on my left, right? I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna come down and up. We got five, control, two, three, four, and relax. Shake out that foot and ankle, short little break. We're gonna go right back into it. Slow up, slow, drive that hip up. Control, boom, two more. 
Nice. One more, one more. And relax. Shake it out. We got three more sets. Give the legs a little wiggle. All right, here we go. Take your time. If you need to sit, remember, come right back up. Challenge yourself. Right back up. Squeeze the glutes. Tighten the abs. Boom. Two more. Two more. One more. And relax. Great job, guys. We got two more sets. And we are done. Not completely, just with this workout. Just with this exercise, I mean. Two more sets. Here we go. Take your time. See if you can challenge yourself a little bit more. And come up. How low can you go? How low can you go? Whoop, I lost bounds. Take your time. Boom. Couple more. Boom, one more. And relax. Shake it out. Boom, chicka, boom. Do a little dance if you want to. We got one more set. One more set. All right, here we go. Shake it out. Left leg. Shifting your weight onto that left leg. Last set. And up. All the way as low as you can. And come up. Couple more. Great job. Two more. Woo! One more. And relax. Way to go. Shake out the legs. Catch your breath. I hope you guys are having fun in a sweaty, muscle pumping kind of way. We've got a couple more exercises. Get a drink of water. All right. Our next one, I call it the pulse round. So grab a chair for balance or a table for balance if you need. We're going to revisit our lunges, but this time we're not shifting our weight forward and back like we did with the very first exercise, which is a goodie and a toughie, right? So now my right leg is going to be in front, left leg is going to be behind. I got a nice wide base. I don't want to be here and trying to lunge because that's going to put more force on my knees. So you want a nice wide stance. Use a chair if you need to or a wall, something that can give you some stability. What we're going to do is find that point that challenges you going straight down. Some of you may be going lower. Some of you may be just dipping just a little bit. That's okay. From that position, we're going to pulse. Okay? All right, so shake it out. Right leg in front. Left leg behind. Go low where you feel like, okay, that's as far as I can go. And pulse. Two, three, four. Chest up. Six, seven, eight. Stay low. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, stay low, and relax. Shake it out, guys. Same position, same position, but this time we're going to do 12 reps, okay? Now, I forgot to mention, if you want to hold on to a weight, this is the time to do so. You can go a little bit heavier. We got 12 pulses, okay? So, foot stance, chest up, shoulders down and back. Get low, find that point that works for you. Now, stay there. Bounce, baby, bounce. Stay right there. Four, five, six, seven. Hold that weight up here if you're using it. 10, 11, 12, and relax. Great job. We got one more set of eight. One more set. And then we're going to switch our position. Here we go. Right leg in front, left leg behind. Nice wide stance. Get low. Where you feel okay. This is challenging, but not I'm not you know overdoing it. And bounce. Heavier weight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and shake it out. Alright guys, so what we do to one side, we're gonna do to the opposite side. So we're gonna repeat but switch our stance. Okay. Alright, so now left leg. In front, right foot behind. Hope you can see it here, nice and tall. Again, you can use weight or not. We're gonna do 15 reps. Get low. When you feel like, okay, that's as far as I can go. Bounce. Two, three, chest up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job. Ten, we're almost done. 12, 13, 14, 15. Shake it out. The next step, we have 12 reps. Grab your weight if you want to. You don't have to. 
So proud of you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. We got another step. Here we go. So my left leg's in front, my right leg's behind. Straight down and bounce. Two, three, four. Keep going. Muscles are working. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and relax. Last set, guys. Last set. So if you are increasing the weight, you want to be at that heaviest weight right now. If you're not, that's totally fine. You're still going to get a great burn. We got one more set of eight reps. So again, foot stand, shoulders down and back, find that position, and bounce. Two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight. Guys, shake it out. So proud of you. So pumped. Catch your breath. Then last, we got two more exercises. Our next one is a super set. So while you're catching your breath, I'm going to demonstrate this one because I didn't demonstrate this one at the beginning. I'm going to grab a drink of water first. So what we're going to do a, what most people call a straight leg deadlift or deadlift. Now remember, when you're doing this exercise, I'm going to turn this way. My knees are not locked. They're soft, though. So my legs, if you can see me, my legs are straight. Let me move this chair so I don't hit my head. You're hinging from your waist. So my back is flat. I'm not rounding. So do it with me so we can mirror each other. And I'm going to come up, gently engage my glutes, keep my abs strong. So when you come forward, you should feel a stretch behind the hamstring. Now, I'm not going to go as low as you guys because I got my baby girl here, but you find the position that works for you. So with the straight leg deadlifts, we're going to do 15, 12, 8. So lightweight, a little bit heavier, and then your last set should be whatever you want to use. That's, that's the heaviest weight that is safe for you. But we're going to superset the straight leg deadlifts with the side-to-side -side squat. So you're going to side Squat together, side squat together. That's one. With the side squatting, we're going to do 10 each time. Or if you want to do a different number, that is fine. Okay, so I'm not going to use weights for this one. Go ahead and have your weights, you know, your lighter, your medium, and your heavier weight. Or if you're like me and not using weight, that's totally fine. So I'm going to turn just so you can see. You can place your hands on your hips if you're not using weights. Or if you want to challenge yourself, you can do what we call good mornings. All right, so here we go. We have 15, nice and controlled, and come up, squeeze the glutes. So stretching behind the hamstrings, keeping the shoulders back, keep count. You don't want to do these really fast. Nice and smooth and controlled, and coming up. The muscles behind the thighs are the hamstring muscles, endurance muscles, as well as your back, and then when you're standing up, just gently squeezing your glutes to give your hips a little bit more stability, taking the pressure off the low back. And again, nice and controlled. I hope you're counting. We're doing 15 reps. I lost count. I think that was eight. You guys can laugh at me. That's okay. Again, keeping the shoulders down and back away from my ears. You should not be rounding at all, taking your time. Just a few more, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna turn, see somebody commenting here. It's hard to read. And then after 15, go ahead and relax. Grab your weight, if you're gonna use weight, I'm not going to. Okay, so you're going to go to your, your right, you're gonna sidestep, squat, bring it in, opposite way, bring it in, that's one. Side step together, side step, that's two. Side step together, nice and controlled. You find that range. If you're going deeper than I am, go for it. Good, keep going. Side step together, side step. Nice job, guys. All the way. We got 10 of these. 10 of these. Nice job. Awesome. One more, I think. 
Unless you're already finished and catching your breath, that's totally fine. And relax. Okay. The next one we're going to do, go right back into that straight leg deadlift. Grab that heavier weight if you're adding resistance. And we're going to go into 12. Taking your time and coming up. Taking your time. Nice job. Back flat. Hinging forward. We have 12. Keep count. Keeping a nice straight spine. Not letting your head hang. Control movement. You're not just flopping around in the air. Showing some love to your body. Of course, I lost count again. I'm going to do four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Go ahead. No break. You're going to grab your weights if you're using weights. We have our side stepping, side step lunges. I'm sorry, side step squats. Grab your weights. You can hold them here or you can hold them here, whatever works for you. You just don't want to be pitching forward, okay? So side step squat together. Side step together. That's one. Here we go. Side step together. Side step together. Keep going. Side step. Good job. Awesome. Making sure you can see me. So I'm still going straight down. I'm not doing a side lunge, right? I am side stepping, but I'm coming down, pushing up. Coming down, pushing up. We got 10 of these. Left and right is one. Make sure you're counting. Good job, guys. I lost count. That's okay. I'm going to do three more. Woo! Almost done. Two more. One more each way and relax. Last set, guys, last set, last set. I'm gonna sneeze, excuse me. Oh, big enough. Okay, so last set of eight reps. So grab your weight. If you're doing the deadlifting, here we go. Back flat, coming down and up. Hands on your hips, if you're doing it the way I am. If you want a longer lever, you can place your hands behind the head, making sure you're not holding your breath Okay, do what works for you. Get option to your muscles, whether you have weight or not, keeping the back flat. We're doing eight, and then we're going to side step on our squats. Couple more, couple more. Nice stretch behind the hamstrings. And catch your breath. Grab that weight. This should be your heaviest weight if you are adding resistance. You have a side step, straight down, together. Side step, down. That's one. Here we go. Nice job, guys. Way to go. Almost there. Nice. Five more. Five more. Counting them down. This is our last step for this exercise. Last three, guys. Here we go. Two more. Let's finish this. We got one more exercise and we're done for today. And relax. Go ahead and grab that chair. Grab some water. We're going to do some calf raises and then we're going to stretch. All right, so you can, if you're used to doing calf raises, go ahead and grab some weight. I'm adding resistance. If you haven't done these in a while, using your own body is totally fine. It doesn't take much to get our calves fired up, right? So I am going to go all the way. So we're going to do single leg, single leg, double, okay? So I'm going to start with my right. I'm using the chair. So I come back so you guys can see me. I'm using the chair for support. Most of my weight's on my right foot. I'm going to come up and down. Two and down. Three. Four. Nice job. Way to go, guys. Keep the count, we're doing 15, 8, 9, 10, keep going, 11, I'm so proud of you, almost there, and relax, shake it out, we're going to switch sides, we got 15, up and down, control and now, you may see that one leg a little bit harder than the other, 3, Four. Keep the count. Six. A bit easier than those lunges, right? Seven. 
eight, nine, keep going, five more, good job, one more, and relax, shake it out. All right, so now we have double legs. So both feet, I'm holding my weight up on my chest, and come up and down, two and down, three, good job. We have 15, both legs together, seven, eight, nine, nice job guys, a few more, on the balls of your feet, slowly lower, on the balls of your feet, nice control movement all the way down, trying to resist the urge of clapping, right? It's easier just to let yourself go, so you want to resist gravity a little bit, and relax. Shake it out. Guys, home stretch. We have one more set. One more set. Single, single, double, and we are done. So you can stay with the same weight, or if you want to challenge yourself and go heavier, if you're like, you know what, Vanessa, I just want to use my body. That's okay, too. Okay, so right leg, shoulders down and back, up and down. Control and down. Or maybe you're starting with the weight and about halfway through, you need to set it down, that's fine. Listen to your body, there's nothing wrong with that. Each time you work out with us, you get a little bit stronger, which is awesome. All right, five more, here we go. Five, four, three, two, last one. And relax, shake it out, switch legs, switch legs. All right, left leg, and up, two, good job, three, four, nice guys, hope everyone has a great day today, way to start the day strong, a nice workout, and if you missed it, that's okay, remember we're going to upload it, five more, to YouTube, nice job, and relax. Shake it out. Last set. Double leg. Double leg. Hold the weight. Both feet. Here we go. Up and lower. Two. We're doing 15 if you can. If you need to back off on the right for the reps. Great. The reps, that's totally fine. Good job. Now when we're done, make sure you don't just turn it off, right? We're going to do some stretching. And remember, when you post your sweaty selfie and tag Lady Super Fitness in it, that's three entries for the treadmill giveaway. Five more. Sorry, guys, I lost count. You're at 15. That's okay. So make sure you post that sweaty selfie. It's encouraging to others. And relax. Great job, guys. Give us all the hand. Let's stretch out those pads a little bit. So if you have a great chair that you're using, you can put the ball of your foot. Can you see me on that chair? And gently lean it forward. I'm not sticking on my butt. I have the ball of my foot on the base of the chair. Stand up tall. Leaning my body forward. Gently stretching the back of that calf. You can switch legs. Get up tall. My heel is down. Ball of my foot is up. Nice deep breaths. Allow that brain to relax. Allow the muscles to let go a little bit. We're going to switch sides. You guys did great. The hard part is over. Remember, recovery is part of your training. I'm going to get a little closer to you. So don't skip the stretching. Make sure you're drinking your water throughout the day, eating good whole foods throughout the day. I like to use the blue muscle rub, if you have an ointment, especially if you worked areas today that you haven't worked in a while, help your body to recover, right? That allows you to continue with your workouts for tomorrow. We have another live workout coming on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two chairs. You guys can do it standing, so you can stretch your hamstring here, right, pushing forward. That's not very comfortable for me. So... I'm going to prop my leg up. You can use your sofa, something that's not going to move, and just gently come forward. 
with the back of that hip shake. The more you pull your toes up, the more of a stretch you feel behind the foot and ankle, and even the calf, hinging from your waist, try not to round. You can switch legs, stretching the back of that hamstring. Deep, slow breaths. And now remember, when you share these workouts forward, that's an entry for the giveaway as well. So sharing the workouts forward with your friends and family and encouraging them to subscribe to YouTube as well so that they can get the workouts. And it's not just for our members, it's for our community and for our loved ones. We're getting through this together. Thanks for working out with us. Now we're going to take the ankle over knee, your right ankle over your left knee. Sit up tall. Watch me keeping my back flat. I'm just gently hinging forward, stretching out the outer hip, butt, thigh, that piriformis area. Show so if you are rounded and kind of bring your neck forward, you're not going to feel it. Shoulders stay down the back. The movement is from the hip, right? And good stretch. You can do this laying down on your back as well. Also, if you're um, you take yoga, they call it the pigeon pose, I believe. Um, let's switch. Just open up the hips a little bit. You may see that one leg may be tighter. Again, just gentle pressure on that knee. Sit up tall, hinge it forward. Show some love to those muscles surrounding that hip girdle. And we got one more stretch. We're going to stand up. Again, you can use a chair. You don't have to. Wide stance. You're going to hinge forward a little bit. Then we're going to go to the left and to the right. Open up that inner thigh. You can also stretch the inner thigh on the floor. You're comfortable with that totally up to you and relax again one more time you're going to hinge it forward slow and controlled back and forth just a few more one more each side guys and relax catch your breath deep breath inhale and exhale Woo! take a deep breath again and exhale one more why not deep breath and exhale guys thank you so much for hopping on thanks for joining me um again we are live on lady super fitness north canton still as well as my personal page if this helped you please please share it forward i'm sure it'll help someone else when you do share our workouts, you get an entry into winning our treadmill, subscribing to our YouTube channel, tagging any of your friends on the comments below. And when you take a sweaty selfie and tag Lady Super Fitness in, in it, you get three more entries. Have a blessed, motivated day. We have more videos to come, and we're going to go live again tomorrow. Ciao now. Mwah.